Hello everyone, this is a question on statistics and finding the mean and standard deviation of group data. Here we have a table that shows the times in hours for a computer simulation to finish, to finish the running. Find the mean and the standard deviation of this data. So on the table we have three columns. The first column are the times, the running times. The second column are the midpoints. Of, and the third column is the frequency. The midpoints are, is the average of the class, of the first column, are the class widths. So this is the average that we call x. And the frequency is what we call f. On these formulas. So to find the mean we follow the formula of the average of the mean of group data and the formula is this one. The x bar, this is the mean, is equal to a fraction sigma f times the x over sigma f the sigma means the sum of the multiplications of f times the x. This is the sum. So I need to make another column on the table that I made f times the x and times the frequency by the midpoint. So I found the f times x, that is 4, 33, 75, 91, 63, and the total, the sigma f x, is the sum of all of these numbers, which is 266. This number goes above the line, the, the numerator of the fraction is 266. And according to the formula is division by sigma f. So the sigma f, I add the frequencies and the total is 50. And this number goes as a denominator of the fraction. So the mean is 266 over 50 is 5.32 and this represents the average time of a computer simulation to finish running okay this is the average time so the average is in the third interval class and let's see how we found standard deviations of a group data there are different formulas to use the one I'm going to use on this exercise is the, the one you see on the screen. Sigma is the square root of the fraction of sigma f times the x square over the sigma f minus the mean x bar squared. And I need to make an additional columns on this table to find what is the x square and what is the f times x square. I found the x square by squaring the midpoints, the x, the second columns. And this gives me the numbers 1, 9, 25, 49, 81. And the other column next is the f times the x square. This column represents the multiplications of f times the x square. So I times the frequency by the x square and I have the numbers 4, 99, 375, 637, 567 and the sum is 1000. 682. This goes into the formula under the square root as a numerator of the fraction. So it is 1682 over 50. 
50 is the sum of the frequency. And I subtracted the square of the mean. Doing the calculations, this gives you the standard deviation as 2.31. And this is for today for this question. If you like the lesson, please subscribe to see more lessons like this one. Thank you.